Hi, so this video two on my um, Subaru Impreza Mexico 2004 TTO1 E car. So what, as you saw in video one, what I'm trying to do is I've got this car here, the um, Subaru WR1, and um, I wanted to make uh, this car here like, as close as possible. Now, obviously, I'm aware, you know, and um, the, you know, my car doesn't have, um, isn't the rally spec car, of course, it doesn't have the uh, air vent. An additional cooling part here otherwise it's you know and, and actually and this part here is different but otherwise it's you know, very, very similar so what the plan is um, I've, I've done it in this in say in the same color um painted on the lines here um but obviously put on the stickers put on the stickers around here all looks pretty pretty sweet i would say obviously the wheels are wrong so that's the next part so i'm going to do that um later on in april so i'm going to start start looking now for the correct wheels so that's I found um, wheels which have, you know, which look similar, but they haven't got the, quite, the, the, the correct amount of spokes. So it's close. So it's definitely better. So yeah, I, I can definitely find something. Um, also, on this one here is um, I followed instructions and put these body mounts here on the front, and then went to test fit the body and realised okay, this these ones here were way too long, so I shortened them, and then put the body on and then realised you know the position wasn't wasn't right. And actually, these mounts here. These two here that I put on the front should be on the back, and these two here that I put on the back should be on the front. So I swapped them around to obviously to offset the wheels, and now these two here are too short. So I'm sort of looking out for some 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 um, some replacement body mounts for the back because whilst it does fit, you know, um, it's you can see here it's touching the shell, so it needs to be sort of up, up a little bit, and also that gives it the nose down look of my WR1. Yep. Um, spoiler wise here. I haven't painted it black. I haven't painted it blue. Sorry, because what I'm going to probably do is actually grind down each of these um, fins along the top, um, plus these middle fins here to make it much to make it more more like uh, my spoiler, sort of modify it or something. I'm not sure yet, but that's something I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks, the next week or so. But yeah, it does look really really good. I'll say the um, same front end on it. Um, back end, I've got the same sticker here. Um, I haven't got a Subaru sticker in, in the box, so I've just put the Pro Drive one here. I'm also going to make up some, some number plates as well, because I just want it looking, you know, I know it's never going to look exactly the same, but I want it looking pretty close, you know. So yeah, that looks pretty sweet. So whip, whip off the stickers. It's a really nice, really, really nice build, actually, this car. So the servo actually um, arrived today for it. So i put that in on my lunch break. Okay. There, sweet. Just look at that. So, yeah, all absolutely sweet in there. Done it sort of fairly neat. I want to sort of test run it, and you know, you know, and then I'm I can adjust the wiring as necessary. So I'll probably just end up um, cable tying these wires nice and neatly down here with these to make it a bit better. But for now, just to make sure it works, and also because I want to be able to take the servo out if I need to to adjust it, and you know, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So I've, so I've got in a 2.4 gigahertz standard. Um, electronic speed controller that comes with the car, the torque tune motor that comes with the car as well, and say high torque servo which is like seven seven pounds each off eBay, so like dirt cheap. So let me just quickly connect this up. Cool, so that's on. Um, turn on the two point four on the Subaru mode. Yeah, switch on now. Boom. Classic, then you got reverse. So 
so yeah really nice i mean these these are simply put but these are budget kits you know but they are upgradable so for example like you know the um um so i forget what the um the rod is between the two gearboxes um is made out of the same plastic as these so it's flexible you know it looks quite cheap and all that sort of stuff it'll probably be completely utterly fine but you can get a new um central rod with the um drive cups here for about 12 pounds made out of like aluminium or something that's pretty sweet and they're in like blue so it just looks pretty pretty fancy um you can get like, the, the dog bone drive shafts here again put nothing wrong with these ones here but you can buy them again in, in aluminium for sort of 10 15 quid you can get body mounts but then they're, they're um they're about the same length as this one so they don't make the, the longer versions here so i don't think they're going to be any use for this particular body but you can get them for different bodies it might work um yeah and you can get other, other upgrades like other aluminiums or wishbones that sort of stuff you can get this so it's all like pretty cheap it's all sort of like 10 15 quid per item you know uh, wheels there's tons and tons of wheels to choose from whether or not they're all compatible with with this i think i believe they are or with these tires i'm not sure i need to check that there's loads and loads of wheels on, on online and they range from like sort of 10 quid to sort of 25 quid with tires so it's pretty pretty cheap uh, but yeah these are pretty these are pretty sweet these are but yeah i'm loving it, it looks absolutely lovely and as i say it went together really really nice um and they say it's, oh that's right and also shock absorbers they're just um sp springs and that's it um they'll be completely fine i expect sort of thing but again you can get um, oil filled ones for sort of 20 to 30 pounds for the set so and they're adjustable and all this sort of stuff so you can probably sort of up upgrade it all for about another sort of maybe 80 80 quid for all the aluminium parts that they generally sell and they sell like steering bits as well so maybe 100 quid if you want everything aluminium you know but i think shock absorbers for me wheels and probably leave everything else as it is, I expect. Yeah, and there we go. There's the body shell. And see, so that was a Tamiya um, PS49, I think it was. A metallic blue. And I didn't back it. I didn't back it because when I tried backing a, a test piece with black, it made it obviously much darker. So maybe I'd better back, back it with silver, which might enhance it. But to be honest, with you, it seemed really nice just using it as exactly as it was. Um, and that pretty much matches the, you know, my, my dirty car behind me. Cool ones, the stickers went on beautiful, really nice, good quality kit. And there we go. I hope this is some interest to anyone. And yep, yeah, I'm looking forward now to um to running it, sorting out the electronics, um sort sorting out the wiring here, and then looking out for wheels over the next week or so. Cool, cheers.